Okay, it's January 23rd. Can't believe we're already three weeks into 2021. And this week's YouTube video, I wanted to try something a little bit different, integrating other people into the mix. So I'm going to carry the camera along with me for my entire day today and just kind of see what I get and then put it together tomorrow to release to you guys. So when you're seeing this right now, uh, it's actually today, not tomorrow, Basically what I'm writing down right now is the shots that I definitely want to capture. Um, so kind of like a day in the life of conversations, workouts, ice baths, different friends of mine, um, and really just seeing what I can capture and what I can come up with and then tell a story around that. So I'm challenging myself today and with this video to go outside of my comfort zone a little bit, start asking questions of other people, see the responses that they give, and then kind of tailoring that into an entire story of Saturday, January 23rd. So looking forward to putting this together and releasing it to y'all and then seeing what feedback I can get so I can keep getting better and better at this. Hope y'all have a wonderful weekend. All right, so like I said, it's Saturday and every Saturday we look forward to going to Squatch Fitness. But before we do that, I release my email campaign and Erin typically likes to read and drink her coffee. So I'm gonna help you guys out and learn a little bit about what she's reading right now and see maybe some of the stuff that she's reading could help you. I don't know. What's up, good morning. I'm sitting here reading. I just got this book. Most people are excited to get clothes, things like that in the mail. We're excited when we get books each week. We always try to keep a budget on books. So I'm reading this book by Joe Dispenza called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. And right now I'm just on the intro, but it's really cool to me because I have a engineering background and he's talking about quantum physics and how our physical world is connected to our mental world inside each and every one of us and how we are all energy and how that has an impact on the world. So excited to learn more and maybe share more about how this has an impact on my life. What are you reading? <laughs> So I mentioned I released an email campaign today. I actually release a newsletter each and every day. I want to get in your inbox and inspire and motivate you to live a more fulfilling life and make every heartbeat count. Today's email was about being more you and finding ways to lean into the things that you love to do. And it was inspired by a podcast with Tim Ferriss, Michael Phelps, and Grant Hackett, which I listened to yesterday. And when Tim Ferriss asked Grant, how does he go about living his life? He responded that he tries to do things that make him feel more like himself. As an Olympic athlete, a lot of people used to criticize how competitive and basically how much he cared about everything that he did in his life, about how structured and strict he was. And maybe that wasn't for other people, but that's who Grant is. And it really hit home with me because I love to do a lot of different things and I am super competitive as well with myself, not other people. And I wanna inspire other people to basically be competitive with themselves and make the most of life. So I wrote the newsletter today about doing things that make you feel more like you and leaning into that and kind of blocking out the noise of everybody else. I also link back to that episode. If this is something that's of interest to you and you'd love to get a little dose of inspo and motivation in your inbox every single day and learn a thing or two about health, family, wealth, business. I like to drop golden nuggets and be as valuable to you as possible. If you'd like to sign up, it'll be in the description below and I hope to see you on my list soon. The necessities for Squatch are pretty simple. Tripods for the cameras and phone, towel, bathing suit, and the most important thing which I've forgotten in the past, my headphones. Have you ever worked out or gone to the gym and you forgot your headphones, it's not a good time. How much strain does spin put 
I mean, it's more so like understanding what causes you strain and what doesn't as an individual. Exactly. Because if you know what causes you strain, like if you're trying to push to the next level. Yeah, I think like weightlifting puts strain on people, but like maybe I'm not lifting heavy enough, but I barely, barely move the needle. It's the same thing with me. Like I did the weightlifting yesterday and I only did four. Yeah. Even though I'm like, I mean, I was pushing myself. And I'm like the bench. sweating. Yeah, and I feel like shaking when I'm lifting. I think it's because if you have a high cardiovascular, when you lift weights, like, I mean, your heart rate's going to go up, but it's not, not the same. It's not the same as like if we ran four miles. It's yeah. not going to be the same. But what I'm interested in is like the more I train for endurance, like I want to know if I can get the strain down. Like, because I believe it. That's the idea. Like, the more trained I am, the less strain I put every time I get out and run. Like right now, I haven't been running regularly, so I've only run two times a week. Yeah, anytime I do run, it's going to be taxing on my body. My body's like, oh shit, this is hard. But if I incorporate it in my routine more, I think I can train myself to get lower strain because my heart rate will get lower. And that's the thing I was talking to Mason about. He's intentionally trying to keep his heart rate at a low rate when he runs. And then what you do is once you achieve a static low heart rate while running, you gradually increase the distance. Like you're gradually able to maintain that low heart rate for longer and longer periods of time as you get faster and faster. So that's something I'm gonna look into next. It's like, it's really hard. Like if you pay that much attention to your heart rate, I notice that like sometimes my mind makes my heart rate go up, I think. That's why breathing, you have to pay attention to your breathing. I'm yeah. telling you and then the book breath tells you talks about is your outward breath is the most important and most people focus on their inwards so they're focusing on breathing in a ton of oxygen yeah. but not like expelling a lot of carbon dioxide so and you think about it the more you're huffing and puffing the more your heart has to work and the more you're like stressing yourself out because like <laughs> but that's what they're saying you're like you're huffing and puffing is determined on you expelling and not necessarily yeah. inhaling yeah I'm always trying to optimize my life in multiple different ways and one of the things that I found recently is the go life. I take two of these bad boys before I work out and I'm cruising throughout the day. So I like to intermittent fast before I work out and these bad boys will kick in and help me just stay focused on the workout and everything that I have to do afterwards. Like chilly, but not. What is up? Yeah, you on camera now. You're famous. <laughs> What's up, man? Oh yeah. This is, the new, this is the new Saturday. The new wet spaghetti. <laughs> Trying to move your body. What's up, dude? What is up, man? What's up, man? Good morning. How are you guys? Great. You guys are famous right now. Oh, so you know. We are. We are live. <laughs> World news, baby. <laughs> Have you been using that bar that's like has a little curve right here? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, what do they call you know, that? Like, oh, no, I, I just know, use, the is what I've heard. Like the, the, I use like banded, banded. Uh, I, do, I, I did that the other stuff. day, but with this bar as well, I put some bands on the bottom. Uh, Josh <laughs> told me about it, <laughs> and dude, that shit crushed my chest. Right the like, so? But it was like Inception. <laughs> it was a bar that was. Yeah, we need to get like a, a buffer right there. Cool. Let's go. He, the, over there, I guess the, the host with the flag would, would sit. Okay. Put your flag up behind you. And then it's got the roadcaster thing there. Uh, you grab the headset off the fucking wall. Oh, okay. This, this just controls the volumes of the each mic. And then uh, if you have a call in radio, someone can call in. You record, press record here, press recording. These are all the sound effects that they're already pre did, like you can add in. So, oh, that is legit. Minute Imam, we got every minute on the minute. 12K assault bike sprint right into the well, next minute. 
but you got alternating single arm snatches with the dumbbells. Then we're going into 16 gorilla rows, finishing off with 12 pull-ups, four rounds. Your heart's gonna explode. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> we're eating way for breakfast here. <laughs> he knows. Right, what are we working on today? Oh, every muscle in my body. <laughs> I'm getting swole. But right now I'm doing legs. Emphasis on the legs. 2021 is the year of the quads. I will be a master. Oh. Bad day will be a weight. This beautiful face on a Saturday morning. I mean, how could you not? Chick bro is in the house. <laughs> what are you You're asking? In town. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for from this. From Boston. Yes, sir. Been in Austin for what now? A week. That's it. Just a week. And what is your thoughts on Austin after a week? Well, I signed a lease, didn't I? So <laughs> I think it's uh, it's pretty it's pretty telling that this place has got. This place has got a palpable, as we were talking about, just like energy that that if it's yours, you come and you take it. So that's what I'm doing. Take it. Thriving. Take it. Smith, <laughs> so so you done? <laughs> done. Much, four rounds. How much you got left? Pretty a little sprinty. Tread. Get this heart rate down a little bit. You want to join? Uh, yeah, maybe later. <laughs> this is how you guys hang in the ATX? We're just hanging out. What's up, Ross man? What's up, bro? Thanks. Oh yeah. Sick. Well, he just needs your hair. He's good. <laughs> What is up? <laughs> we are out here. <laughs> Let's go. Happy Saturday. We got Clay out here crushing it. Max. What's your name, brother? Jack. Jack. Come, come take this? Yeah. I appreciate you. He likes to film when he's upside down. Would you look who it is? <laughs> what is up? <laughs> what do you have for the people today? We suffer more in imagination than in reality. Mind blown. Oh, hey. A little steamy in here. There's one open, so it's going to be two of us at a time. Yeah, put your timer on, sure. Come on, how you feeling? Is first ice bath? Yeah, it's my first ice bath. First ice one? Yeah. Frosty. Just do it. Okay. Mind over matter. Breathe through your nose. Alright, how's it feeling? Not bad. 
<laughs> bad. I'm just gonna start to not feel anything at all. So and you're gonna have to pick me up out of here. So what's gonna happen? You're already a Hall of Famer on your first one. <laughs> All right, how are we feeling, James? Feel good, nice and frosty. Yeah. Body's feeling good. Only 30 what, seconds. What are you guys going for? What Wait, time? We already did 30 seconds. I'm going for three. Three minutes. How much was that? I'm saying that was 30 seconds. That was? Yeah. Oh, okay. You're good. You're good. I like this. I can get used to it. No, I'm just going to stay right where I am. I'm not going to push it. You guys feeling zen? Okay, ready. Hold on. All in. Ten. All I do is shop whole thing together. I'm like, ah, whatever. Yeah. One. Five. Woo! Not bad. First time. All right. Woo! Do it. Give me a high five. Woo! Go, Chase. Here we go. Chips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was good. That's good. Going for a little swim. Sharks little are swim. entering the water. We're getting the ice. Oh, this feels good. That's on Ross, man. We got my Ooh. boy Corey. CJ looks ripped. We got our boy CJ. <laughs> he does look ripped. God dang. Oh, man. okay. We're doing it. The whoop waterproof. <laughs> Baby. So every week I do sauna and ice bath, struggling with celiac disease and autoimmune conditions that have caused a ton of pain and inflammation in my life. The sauna and the ice bath is something that I do to reduce that inflammation. I highly recommend it for anybody else out there. And essentially it's just three minutes of pain for a lifetime of gain. So. Yeah, can't recommend it enough. Man. How was the ice bath? It was fantastic. Um, life changing. So wow. <laughs> Three minutes of suffering yeah. for just a whole day of feeling great. It's true. It's really didn't even mess up. Is that bad? It's no, All right, so we just finished up with a nice little workout here at Squatch, followed by sauna and ice bath. And now we're gonna go eat some food and then go clean the Thrive HQ to have some people over tonight. So, waiting on my wife, I think she went for a walk, but I'm excited for the rest of the day. Even though we didn't get sun today, unusual here in Austin, Texas, it's always a blast hanging out with my friends and all of us leveling ourselves up. I forgot to record our lunch. Doesn't really matter anyway. We kind of eat the same thing for lunch every day, which is either a smoothie or a shake, protein shake. Um, so I had that, then I had half a pizza, a diet pizza, vegan pizza, which was pretty good, and some tofu tacos. Um, I don't know what Aaron had, but now we are here at the HQ because it's time to clean up. We got some people coming over later today, so we wanna make sure that the space is clean and ready to serve our guests. What music do you like listening to? Really anything. Alexa, play Mac Miller. This is Mac Miller from Spotify. Oh, yeah. 
whole day, bro. Oh, what's up? It's what's the whole day. Yeah. yeah. Uh, hi. Hello. Hi, I'm Bella. Nice to meet you. Oh, oh my God, you're good. Nice to meet you. Me and Aaron. Where's like? She's cool. She, she, she works for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's it's a, so it's a it's a wouldn't want anybody else to be held back from going and doing that. Like, I wish that I wouldn't have been held back because, yeah, like, I wanted to club on also. Damn. Damn. She just Yeah, I wanted to play club on. Yeah, I wanted to play club on. You don't see the potential. It's cool, and I see the potential more goal. I stick to this one thing. Boom! So if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching the video. I really, really appreciate you. It was a little bit longer than I anticipated, but I'm trying to get better at shooting on the fly and then editing in post. I'm still far away from where I want to be, but that's where I rely on you and your feedback. The people that have already given me feedback so far, thank you so much. You're appreciated more than you know. It's the only way that I can get better. As I always like to say, strive together, thrive together. It's something that I like to live by. And with these videos and your help, I'm going to get better and better each and every week and hopefully be more valuable to you, the viewer. Until next time, keep following along. Every single Sunday, I'm gonna be dropping a video. Please reach out to me, connect with me, let me know what you're looking to learn and connect over and let's keep it going. Thrive on.